Music. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My cute ringtone. Oh, we're doing a call in the show now. Yeah. So, say hello, you're on head on a stick. Hey. It's my husband. Oh no. You're on live TV, Joe. <laughs> what are you doing? Good idea. I can't say on I can't tell you. Okay. Okay. Okay, love you too. Okay. okay, that's my husband telling me something that I can't say on the air. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> it's not too hot. Oh my gosh. Well, that's wrong. It's full of cold water. Oh, you're yeah. like a you're like a Zen master. <laughs> just grab the hot teapot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured it would cool off fast, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little cold water. <laughs> it's not hot at all. <laughs> it scared me. Well, I am the Zen now. master. I can I can hold the cold water. I, I can take the hot teapot directly from the hot plate and hold it for hours like this <laughs> and not even flinch. You can, you, you may notice the skin bubbling up and steaming around the edge of my hand. Yes. Because yes. yeah. I can put my face directly on the hot hot plate. Yeah, my husband just called to say that that movie that we wanted to go see doesn't start until 10.30, but I can't so, tell you what movie and okay. where because so otherwise it might sell out. So that's all. So, <laughs> that's so, what he said. So he should run ahead and get the tickets. No, I should run ahead and get the tickets, honestly. Oh. I, I, I wish he'd he's, done that. Because he's busy until 10? Yeah, he doesn't get off work. He works at the Jolie Rouge. The Rouge. He's a bartender. I see. He's the cute one. I see. Not the red hair. Not the ugly one. He's the cute one. Who else has red hair? <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all cute, but he's just the one with the red hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was something I was going to do, so I'm going to try to do it now. It required me that I get up to go do it. I wonder what it was. I don't know. But I know I was going to do something. I've thought of it several times. Until I got ready to do it, of course. Can you explain what that drawing is? Mm. It's it like a decrepit sewing machine. Not at all, not at all. It's not a sewing machine? Not at all. <laughs> do you see a sewing machine there? It's a, uh, it's like a t saw. <laughs> I see it. I think those are legs right there. Just that way, I think. Ah, there's someone at the door. Perhaps, perhaps they've come to tea. Should I go check for you? I'll go check. Okay. Yeah, but y'all, you need to tell them more about the phone sex. Uh, can we say, we can say sex. Phone sex? Mm-hmm. Oh, now I know why I was getting up. <laughs> <laughs> he had a call to make. <laughs> oh, man. I almost want to one day come in here and, like, maybe give my my, my phone sex number out and have it... Because I can have it linked up to any phone, mm -hmm. you know? The, thing, the only reason why I don't have it linked up to my cell phone is because uh, yeah. my dad pays for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would appreciate it much. No. Because he doesn't really know. How often do you get calls when it's... You know, I haven't really done it in a while. Mm. Um, I just moved and my internet isn't hooked up yet. Uh, and they were yeah. supposed to hook it up on Monday, but they, they weren't able to. So now it's next Monday. And um, Have you been able to generate a, um, a steady clientele? Any like? Well, like the week residual? or two that I was actually actively able to do it and not involved in other things, um, yeah, I... I generated about a hundred dollars a day. <laughs> oh, doing phone sex? Yeah. A hundred dollars a day. Yeah. Is it something That's not too bad. How 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 much time did you actually spend on the phone in a day? About an hour and a half. That's not how, bad. How did you have to monitor the phone all day to do that? No. Um. Whenever I get home from work, I can just uh, 
turn it on and wait, and I would get one or two phone calls, and they would last about 30 minutes. Okay, minutes, so you know? tell, tell us about your first time. My first time doing phone sex? Yeah. It was hard to, like, what, suck you're like, you there's, the, there's the phone ringing, and what do I... The first phone call I got was some guy, and he was already jerking off by the time he... No, I don't know if we can say that. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, there was no... I believe you have to say masturbating. Master, masturbating. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we all he know. He wanted more tingle about. for his dance. There it is. There it is. <laughs> now. Now. Well, he was, he was already doing his thing. Uh-huh. So it was a short call. Yeah. It's hard to keep him on the line once they... Can uh, I say the W word? What the is British it? word that means... Wanker? <laughs> I don't see why not. It's British, so... It is British. It's another it is. Here. There we go outside and smoke a pack. <laughs> oh my god, you're fishing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, uh, we call we call them, uh, that's what, that's the name for them is, is one minute wankers, and it's when they're already going at it whenever they, whenever they, they just need a finishing touch. Yeah, they just need Special their, ending. Yeah, and, and they end up spending a dollar fifty, and you end up getting like 75 cents. It's, it's fine not, with me. Not worth it at all. Well, I mean, well, I mean, you, it's, to me. I, I mean, care. for a minute, you know, whatever. It's more than I get. I don't even have. I mean, I, by the time they're done, I've finished introducing myself, and that's it. Yeah. So it's kind of. It, it could, it's not that much different than telemarketing, I imagine, because at first you have, have this <laughs> well, little thing. Well, really, yeah, this thing no that you sell, say, sales yeah. or anything. Well, it, yeah, they're but, but just in telemarketing, you introduce yourself and you kind of put what you're doing out mm, there. Not even. So not even like, really. Uh, what happens is they call you and they like. Hi, what's your name? And you're like, Hi, I'm I'm Brittany or whatever you decide your name is. Mm-hmm. And then And you and make like, up a name? Oh yeah. Of course. Uh, That's a um, you know, a trade thing. Yeah. I, I have I have a couple of, of names that I use. One is a uh, Braddy Belinda. Braddy? <laughs> Braddy Belinda. Braddy Belinda. <laughs> I just oh. thought it was funny. I was like, no one ever uses Belinda and it kinda sounds like sounds like a hot chick name, so um and the other one I'm I'm gonna start doing is uh and it's gonna be Lucy Purr instead of Lucifer. It's really Lucy Purr. Purr. <laughs> and then um, there's another one I thought of. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, Do they have a request for you to be that. called something? What's that? Like no, your they, name is. Uh, oh yeah. Not yet. I haven't gotten that yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. I mean, you you get lots of interesting folks. I'm sure. I've, I mean, but see, the thing about it is, is it's not so much like, oh, I'm gonna talk a bunch of dirty sex talk to you. Yeah. Really what it is is people, like, it sounds like somewhat wealthy, older men, a lot of them seem to be married or in a relationship, but they they don't feel like they can talk to their significant other about those sorts of things, and so they just really want to talk. Uh-huh. A lot of times they just want to talk about what they're into, and, uh-huh. and it's sort of weird, kinky stuff yeah, that they just too. can't talk to their partner about. Is so it like s- smelling shoes or something? Well, you know, it's like, you know, this one guy, he was a transvestite, you know, and he liked to be, his thing was that um, he liked to be uh, role play that he was a woman that went to the club, and I was his pimptress, and I would go to the club with him, and I would, uh, I had a, a like a list of rates of stuff that he like what I would what I charge for to pimp him out her out rather uh-huh. and um so he she would would meet a guy and they would dance and they would, there was this whole dialogue and he would act it all out for me and I would just sit there and listen to him act out this whole dialogue between him or her and and his uh girl name was Melissa and um so Melissa would have this uh conversation with a guy and and then and he, it was so funny because he would do the girl voice and the guy voice, and it was so hilarious. He could do and both then, very well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, you and should so have been working he would bring the guy home. Profession. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he he this he sounds would bring like the a guy long home. call. This is a money maker. Oh yeah, 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 this is a regular. And um, wow. <laughs> she would bring the guy home, and um, and it was pretty. It was involved on my part. There was some homework involved because I actually had to decide what I wanted to charge for each sex act, and like um. You know, I, I kind of, it, there, it was a somewhat involved um, little thing going on there, but, um, so no. she would bring home the guy, and they would, you know, she would go through this whole process of explaining, like, what they were doing, and, and apparently she had things like poppers and, and uh, amyl nitrate and stuff, and, and I think that this person actually had this stuff and was actually using it, 
Um, and wow. it would be like, a, and, and he would have this sex toy, and it would he would interact with it as if it was a guy, and now it's when you're supposed to, to squeeze to the, the, the the wing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they do the chicken dance, and <laughs> and um and then what the the funniest part about the whole thing was uh was afterwards you know well I I would tell him I would be like okay now now dance with him and so he you know she would kind of dance and with and would would he put the man would he put the boy on the on the phone too you would talk to the yeah guy. I would talk to both of them mm -hmm. at one point I had to talk to the guy um mm -hmm. and and um basically explain like okay you know you can you have permit my permission to like take melissa home with you or to go home with this mm -hmm. melissa person and so they would do their whole thing and then at the end of it you know i kind of got the first call that i had from this guy i got kind of curious like what he does afterwards you know and i said well so what do you do with the men whenever you're done you know turning your trick basically did you say he pulled the cork and let the air out <laughs> <laughs> well no he goes he goes well, I ask him if maybe he wants to um, curl up on a blanket somewhere in the house, or maybe if he wants to go take a sauna. Really, it's just the dishwasher, but I call it the sauna. <laughs> and and so he, he and I was like, okay, well, you know, ask ask him if he wants to get in the sauna with you. And and so Melissa would say, do you want to get in the sauna with me? And then the guy voice would say, yeah, sure. And then. I, I, he would take this dildo and he'd put it in the, in, the, in the dishwasher and shut the dishwasher and I heard the dishwasher turn Come on and I just cracked up. <laughs> I mean, it was the first call, I just cracked up laughing so I was like, it's the sauna, like that's hilarious, you know, so yeah, um, it, was, it was interesting. I'm just waiting for the phones to start ringing. Yeah, well no one knows the number, so. No, 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 no. to the TV station. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's, I mean, and that's, you know, and this is a very uh, uh, well-constructed fantasy life that this person had, and a lot of people who call have that. You know, they have this very elaborate um, little fantasy world. And They've all been at it longer than you have. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing is, is mostly what it is, is somebody calling and, ex and describing that elaborate fantasy world to you. Mm -hmm. So that you can somehow interact with them on that level, and so yeah. it's really a lot less about sex and more about like just connecting. Fan you know. it's, it's fantasy role play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's 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 pretty pretty interesting. I mean, as long as you have an open enough mind to be able to to listen to that and not crack up, which is really hard. That would be difficult. Oh, is that me. bad? Do you like lose the call if you crack up? No, no. Way? I mean, but I mean, you don't want to. You don't, don't want to insult them. You know, but God, sometimes it's so funny. It was so funny. And then what the worst part was that that just happened to be the night that um, I had invited a girlfriend over to listen in, and it was the weirdest phone call I had gotten so far, you know, so it was like, you know, so the whole time I'm, my friend's there, and we're both listening to the call, you That know. made it harder not to crack it, it up. Yeah, because she, she was snickering over there, and, and I, I, it was so hard for me not to, and it was so hard for me to keep my head in, the, in this fantasy space where this person was, but, you know, this girl wasn't interested in doing it too, which is why... I let her listen in. I mean, otherwise it would be, I don't know, I would feel like I was sort of breaching a certain amount of trust, but... Do you work you know, out from home here in Asheville? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's all done from home. It's not one of those cubicle type right. things where you get training. It's just all very self-motivated. There's nobody listening well, in or watching you or anything else. I had, a, I had a friend, actually my Jewish attorney in Atlanta, used to run the uh, largest escort service in mm -hmm. Atlanta used to run the largest escort service in Atlanta, and he also had a, a phone room. But now now he worked a big room, and they were cubicles. And, yeah. he, and he had people in cubicles, and one yeah, fellow... Cool. Wouldn't you be able to hear the other people, you maybe in the background and everything? Like when you ever not so much, bank, not so much. Know? They work with little headsets on, uh -huh. and they're just in there talking, you know, and it's cubicles, you know. I just could I just, I don't know, I couldn't do that. And, and um... I wouldn't feel you have to light and, candles and sit at home. Yeah, like, I, I when I'm, when <laughs> I'm there, I'm like, the... I'm in my pajamas, and I've got candles. Uh -huh. and oh, are really you? Nice. You are in your pajamas, and you do yeah. have... I mean, it's not like I'm in a car. I'm in my pajamas. Do you go, I'm touching myself now? Yeah, I mean, I've had a couple of calls like that. Like, a co I've gotten calls from a couple of college guys, and they're very straightforward. Like, they just want to talk about, you know, mm -hmm. all your average everyday sort of sexual activity, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why I don't really like college guys much. But, you know, <laughs> it's all just very bland and very, you know, okay, and now we're doing this, and now we're doing that, and now, okay, and. Now nice you're talking done. to you. Talk to you later. Yeah. 
It sort of mimics real life, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, when I, was, I went in there, I had sometimes I would have business with my attorney in Atlanta, and I mm -hmm. would have to go <laughs> to where his operators were all working, mm -hmm. and, and they were taking reservations and uh, and also running a phone sex thing at the same time out of this one big room, mm -hmm. and uh, and who I who and, and sometimes I had to wait because he would be busy working on other things, and I got I uh, struck up a friendship with a boy that worked there whose talent was that he could be anything that you wanted. Mm -hmm. And and, and if, if you call if you wanted a girl, he would be a girl. If you wanted a boy, he would be a boy. He could be whatever you wanted. Mm -hmm. And he could talk just like it. And he already he'd been doing it a long time. Yeah. He'd made a lot of money and he mm -hmm. bought a really nice car. He was showing me his car and his yeah. leather seats and you um, know you make a, it's, it can be really lucrative. The thing that the thing with the um the services with the cubicles and all that, you cert you generally like get paid a certain hourly wage. Yeah. Um, and then maybe you'll make a commission on top of that, that sort mm -hmm. of thing, or they could possibly tip you or something. Mm -hmm. But the way this process works that I'm doing is um, you decide how much you want to charge per minute. You could charge seven ninety nine a minute if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Um, can you change from call to call, or all your calls would be that rate, whatever it is? You can have different profiles, and, and mm -hmm. you can have up to 20 under each name and oh, each one is like there's different categories there's like girl next door and there's fantasy role play and there's mm -hmm. fetish and there's all this stuff and you can have a listing under every single one of them and um on that listing you can charge a different amount depending on which one it is and so like there's there's this whole thing um that people are really into um a lot of men which is really surprising are this thing called financial domination where like you they call you up and you're like give me two hundred dollars right now uh -huh. or i'm gonna hang up on you and uh -huh. they'll do it uh -huh. They will just they will do it because they just like to be financially dominated, and that's where I've made the most of my money so far. It's just guys who like to get bossed around. It's really funny. I have I haven't even said a single sexual thing to them, except I called I, one guy. I, I, he sent me an email because um, there's an email thing mm -hmm. through this service, so they don't actually get my real email. Mm -hmm. And um, the guy wrote me an email. He said something about liking to be dominated, and I called him a sissy, and he gave me forty bucks like that. Like mm -hmm. it's just I mean. Calling him a sissy. Yeah, he just liked to be called names, and that's that's the idea. Every once in a while, I just send him an email and call him a name, and he'll send me some money. Like it's it's really funny. It's <laughs> not even sexual. Like it's just, I mean, it's mm. and it's so wow. weird and interesting. And can do, I do okay, that? They do, will like, never I, know. I'll never do go they, hungry because I know I can always fall back on this. Oh, oh, okay, associated <laughs> with the telephone number that they call, is there a photograph associated with? Is it your photograph? Well, you can you have that option. Well, what can, is it in your case? Um, in my case, yeah, it actually is. You put a view. You yeah. put your own photograph out. Yeah. Okay. Because I get I get a lot of these um, on my on my MySpace site. Yeah. And the and the. You'll get a lot of pictures that are duplicates of some different profiles. Yeah. Like yeah. I noticed. I noticed that that. Uh, I noticed that that every day I have three or four news friends requests that all have much larger than a average tits. Yeah. And and sometimes next week. The same. It's the same face, but it's a different, a different name. name. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's there's things out there where you can buy um, stock photos and stuff yeah. like that, and you you purchase the right to be able to use that, and right. they'll they'll that there's repeats on that a lot of times, right. and a lot of the girls that go through the process this this service that I do um, will buy a packet of of or like a group of maybe a thousand pictures of right. a particular Shoot. girl, okay. and you know different. So they can keep sending more pictures. Of the same girl, like yeah, this so is like me. This is this is this is this is me uh, licking my dinner plate. This yeah. Is, this is, yeah. <laughs> but that is the first thing that popped in your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, mm, um, this but is, like, yeah, yeah, it's stuff like that where you know some guys like I want to see a picture of, of your butt. And so right, this is me licking my own butt. Yeah, you have like right fifty here. pictures of this one girl, and you've got all these pictures of her butt, and you can decide, okay, which one do I want to send? Mm -hmm. And um, some girls do that; they'll buy the stock footage. But a lot of guys who who call these services up are onto that, and they already are. They've already seen the pictures. They've already they they know this the service that mm -hmm. you. There's like a few of them that you can go through, and they're aware of that already, and so they they can already they can tell basically, mm -hmm. and so. I you know apparently those listings will get less business. You can still get business, but those ones will get less. So I just I was like, I'll use my pictures. I don't care. Uh -huh. so but you're I not think, afraid that one night you'll be downtown. You'll come out of the out of the bar. They have no idea where some, you live or some, what somebody, city you're somebody in. Somebody will go. 
You're Mary Jane. I know you, you dominated me last week. <laughs> Then I will be well, like, well, hi. Give me some money. But also, also, they won't know what city or, I mean, they have no yeah, idea where all, you're calling. You could be like calling from Thailand yeah, or something. They have people, no idea. I've had British guys call me. I've had, they, Austra- like, I've had an Australian girl I mean, girl unless call me. there was actually someone in Asheville or somebody that came yeah. here to, to visit well, we and then sees you on TV. URTV, then well, they would Well, and that's one thing, too, is, I mean, I, you, you guys probably don't know this already, but, like, I... I, there are a lot of pictures of me. I used to model, and, and I um, look very different in every picture that <laughs> I, I take. Um, I and so, every, I mean, if I've most of my pictures, like right now, the ones I have on there are me with short blonde hair. You wouldn't be able to tell it was me. Exactly. You would not be able to recognize yeah. me, you know, yeah. as it is right now. So, I'm not too terribly worried about it. Plus, I mean, the combination, the combination of somebody in Asheville, somebody who has called me. Mm-hmm. Somebody who might cause me harm, mm-hmm. and who who would actually recognize me, all happening at once is pretty slim. So yeah, exactly. I'm not too Next terribly worried about on. it. So. Right. But if it did happen, it would happen in Asheville. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hi there. there. How'd the chicken get back, man? You go look before you talk to me anymore. Go look in your chair. He probably has already looked. The, the, there. You, the answer will be: you will understand everything. Go look now, quickly. <laughs> so, yeah. did, did he just hate the chicken? Hmm? He hates the chicken? I don't like the chicken much. He kidnapped the chicken. A lot of people don't like the chicken. I think it the chicken's here hilarious. <laughs> and uh, and did Hair you hear hilarious. what it said? It was just a great op- It's a great opening. I, I zoom I zoom I zoom in. You okay with all that? Oops. Uh oh, I'm getting a telephone call. Let me see. Could be a ransom call. Let's see what this is. Hello? That's correct. The, you've got you've got the mad scientist tea party. Who am I speaking with? Okay, Chris. All right, are you watching the show? Okay. Okay. Have, have we offended you, Chris? Okay. All right. Don't don't cuss, and I'll put you up to the microphone. Okay. Let me. Okay. Here, put these on. Oh wait, he wants to talk to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. I think this is one of your clients. Go ahead. You're on the air. All right. Cool. Well, I had a question. Um, you know, I know you guys are talking about phone sex, and uh, I was wondering, uh, what characteristics make a pro? You know, somebody really goes in there and, uh, you know, they uh, the pros at phone sex. What are the characteristics? characteristics of them. Does um, that make sense? I don't know. I think it takes all kinds, honestly. Um, I think you probably just have to have a really open mind and um, the ability to not be too judgmental. Oh, done this one. I'm sorry. Um, you're going to get a lot of strange folks in the yeah. <laughs> um, so yours. I don't. I don't know. Um, you can't be easily offended, that's for sure. What's that? I'm sorry, uh, does it matter if, like, you know, does it matter if I'm worried about whether the girl thinks I have a sexy voice or not, or? Wait, so are you talking about wanting to call a phone sex service, or are you talking about wanting to be a phone, phone sex, sex person? Having phone sex, you know. Wait, what's that? I just want to be a part of having phone sex. But do you want to be the one paying for it, or the one getting paid? Wait, he on. wants to be. He wants to get paid. He says. Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you one thing. If you are a man wanting to do phone sex, then you're gonna have to be willing to talk to other men because girls don't really call those things. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually, I got a, a phone call from so, one girl. So, what's your name, Chris? Chris, how you doing, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Are you Are you touching yourself, Chris? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Uh, a little later. Your microphone is up really loud. It's actually feedback. Okay. All right. I have to back off the mic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good episode. Okay. Well, we want you to touch yourself as soon as you get off it's the phone. It's like Howard okay? Stern or something. All right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, but that, that is true. Like, you, uh-huh. I mean, pretty much all the guys who do um, 
do phone sex have to talk That's to other men? What I would assume right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not one of those like have your cake and eat it too sort of situations yeah. for men in, in that in that sense. I mean that it is sort of unfair. It's a little bit of a double standard because because I can Definitely do it gender bias and on, I yeah. can have fun because I get to talk to guys. But get paid. but yeah, unless mm-hmm. unless you're a gay man, you really can't do phone sex. So. Mm-hmm. It's, it's sort of a shame. I feel bad for you guys, you know, because it's, this, off, it's no. this thing that I could always do. Like, if I'm ever just really, really broke and, you know, I owe the mafia money or something like mm-hmm. we were talking about <laughs> like, earlier, like I could like, 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 like bucks a day. But yeah. there is, but there is <laughs> the subset of uh, gay men who like only straight men. That is true, but you yeah. still so, have to be a straight man willing to talk sexy yeah. to a gay man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's, be, there were, there's a couple there of girls that call each other with this service, but it's um it's because if you are with the, it's actually a website, if you're with the website, then it's like uh, you get this huge discount to call each other, and some of the girls will call each other just to chit-chat, to be like, okay, so what do you do? Like, what's your stick, uh-huh. and what's your, your whole thing, and you know what I mean? And that's the only, like, I got a call from an Australian girl who was also part of the service, and we just chit-chatted for a minute, and we talked uh-huh. a little bit, you know, like, oh, you know, little sexy but it wasn't mm-hmm. you know it wasn't like it <laughs> a little sad, sexy guys. yeah as far as the three of us are sitting here two right. girls talking sex just a little sexy right. <laughs> right. it's probably really sexy to you guys but it was right. a little it's boring with me. different I girls yeah, that's, yeah. that's different right there's a professional for it, courtesy yeah right so right. you getting right. your erotic right. You, right, right. Right. you talk a little right. sexy with guys and you're and you're queer you talk a little sexy with girls, and it's, you know, we're just talking. <laughs> it's girl talk. It's true. I mean, yeah, talk. I know. It is. There's a double standard. I mean, yeah. Right, and we, get we were talking about that earlier. I was telling you about I mean, my friend who wants to call yeah. me and always hang out. Right. And I am mm-hmm. more loaded. Exactly. I don't talk sexy with guys. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah, that's I talk sexy better. Maybe with girls all the time, but I'm definitely not a lesbian. Okay. I mean, I just, you know. We know. We know. I'm not implying anything. I'm just, be, I'm just being silly. That's that's what I do. I'll be, I'll be silly. I think he's really enjoying this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Is it John? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Is it Jonathan? All I know is yeah, are you out there, Jonathan? Jonathan? He walked by and waved. So are you getting your erotic hypnosis fix now? Well, it's not really about hip- I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm erotically hypnotized now. I'm hypnotized. Or er- erotically hypno- hypno- hypnotized. Or er- erotically hip. Well, hip- I'm just <laughs> passing through because I am kind of technically doing sound for the show that's being filmed right down the hallway right now. I know, but it, it right ought now. to be on autopilot by now, isn't it? By and large, but I feel obligated to stick, go back in and put the headphones on. Is it good? Are you enjo- I bet it's good because I know some of the people involved. I and I, uh, they're friends of mine. Those are okay. all good people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they, they all seem like good people and all right. that there. That's your question. It's just that is a me thing. I'm really not all that fascinated with uh, which is yeah. It's I'm. You're not I'm, a I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there reading a toy magazine that's talking about Transformers. So uh-huh. that's toy fair. Yeah, I've got a toy fair. Uh, yeah, I like the toy fair theater. Huh? Yeah. Well, it's the uh, it's it's the one leading up to the Transformers movie. movie so, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's really good. I, I buy any toy fair that has Optimus Prime on the cover though. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I so think that's where robot chicken came from. At this it's point, like, is how did that Chris guy get your telephone number? Is he just it? Or is so. it scrolling or something? I don't know. He he's a member of URTV, okay. and so any any member can can uh, most of the members have their uh, their addresses and stuff listed, and, and we have a, we have membership pages in the back that. Only